Okay. First one. Sultan. A shopkeeper sells DVDs. When the price is twelve pounds, he sells two hundred and forty. When the price is fifteen pounds, he sells one hundred and fifty. P is the price, and D is the sales number of sales. That's what I said. Yes. Yeah. So we have. <coughs> When the uh, price is twelve pounds, he sells two forty. And when the price is fifteen pounds, he sells less. He only sells one fifty. Joshua, get off the wall, please. Joshua, turn fully around. Okay, first part is find the equation of the line. So you have m equals um, 150 minus 240 over 15 minus 12, which is minus 30, I think. Let's double check that. 150 minus 240 over 15 minus 12, yeah, minus 30. So you have now y equals mx plus c, to find the c you put in a point, 150 equals minus 30 by 15 plus c, so c equals 150 plus 30 by 15. Don, please, come on. Uh, and we get c here is 600. So we have y equals minus 30x plus 600, or in this case, number of sales equals minus 30 times the price plus 600. No big deal, uh, just in the uh, uh, question they wrote it as D equals 600 minus 30P, but that's the exact same thing. Okay, so that's part one. Yeah? Part two. In fact, it's a tiny bit easier here because in my example we have to work out uh, that formula. But they actually give you the formula for the total cost. They say, oh, the total cost is 100 plus 5D. So that's given to you. So they would like uh, the total profit, which they call N, and they give you the formula for total profit. They say total profit is DP minus C. And they give you the formula for C. They tell you that C is 100 plus 5D. And you know the formula for the D as well. It's right here. So what we do is we sub in the D. We have DP minus that one there. So we just need to simplify this. It would be 600p minus 30p squared minus 100 minus 5d. So we get minus 30p squared. What the heck? Hang on. Hold on. I hold on. You. I'll be quiet for a second. Uh, I'm replacing the D. I didn't replace it there yet. That's all. Okay. So it's actually bigger than it looks. 600 minus 30P P minus 100 plus 5D, which is a 600 minus 30P. Okay. So there's more to multiply. 600P minus 30P squared minus 100 plus 3000 minus 150p so that is 600p minus 30p squared minus 100 minus 3000 plus 150p 
So in total you get minus 30p squared plus 750p minus 3100. That's the formula for profit. Uh, so that's part two. Yeah. Say that again, which one? The fourth line, hang on. One, two, three, four. This line, yeah? Uh, I'll read it out to you, yeah? It's 600 minus 30p brackets, p minus brackets, 100 plus 5 bracket, 600 minus 30p bracket, and then the other bracket. Okay, part three is find the maximum and show that the maximum. You just need a second, there you go. Okay. Part three. So we want to find how this is a maximum. So we need to calculate the derivative. Minus sixty P plus seven hundred and fifty equals zero. So that means P would equal seven hundred and fifty divided by sixty. Twelve pounds fifty. Now we calculate the second derivative. Second derivative is minus sixty, which is less than zero, which makes it a maximum. And then the last part is they want to know what the profit is. The profit. All we do is we take this answer and we put it back into our formula here for profit. So let's see, minus 30 times 1250 squared plus 750 times 1250 minus 3100. So I got for profit, which is the N, um, 158750. Okay, so that is, beef. what's wrong? It is pounds in this question, yeah. Yeah? 